Hello, welcome to SL Productions and my Doctor Who audio collection for 2019. I haven't done this since the beginning of 2017, and I can say my Doctor Who audio collection has probably doubled since then. So yes, we will begin with Doctor Who, the 50th anniversary collection, the original television soundtrack. Got some good audio soundtracks on here. They don't have the City of Death soundtrack, which I'm a bit disappointed about, but other than that, it's a great audio. Next up, we do have Short Trips Volume 4, listen to the first four stories, they were quite good about two years ago, and I still need to listen to the other four, so yeah, I will get around to doing it. Then we do have Doctor Who The Great Space Elevator, got this for my birthday, we'll get around to listening to it soon. Then we do have Doctor Who The Evil One, haven't listened to this one for about three years, when I first listened to it, I wasn't really concentrating, so I didn't really know what was going on, so yes, I'll have to give this one another listen. Then we do have Doctor Who The Thief Who Stole Time, haven't listened to this one yet, have had it about a year, but still haven't got around to listening to it. Then we do have Doctor Who The Light At The End, got this for Christmas 2018, still need to listen to it, but I'm looking forward to listening to it, it's got all Doctors from Doctor 4 to Doctor 8. So yes, looking forward to listening to this. Then we do have Doctor Who The Sirens of Time, the first Doctor Who Big Finish audio. Not Big Finish's first release, but the first one in the Doctor Who monthly range. Yeah, The Sirens of Time, it was okay. Not the best audio I've listened to, but not the worst audio I've listened to. Next up, we do have Doctor Who The Mutant Phase. Thank you, Doctor Blue, for this audio. I won it in a giveaway. So, yeah, very good audio, in my opinion. Do love The Mutant Phase. That's quite a basic story, but I really like it. I think it's a great story. Peter Davison's great in it, and, yeah, I would highly recommend this, even though it's not that available, as it only appeared in the Doctor Who Adventures magazine. It was a free gift in there in 2008, I think. So, yeah, it might be hard to get your hands on. Next up, we do have Doctor Who Fallen Angels, great audio, it's an audio stone the fifth Doctor in the Weeping Angels, I think it's great, a really good audio, it's in the classic Doctor's new monsters range, and if you've noticed, I'm doing it in order of the Doctor, not the order of release, so yeah, if you think it's in a weird order, you know why, so yes. Next up, we do have a six Doctor audio, and this is Trial of the Valley, I'd listen to this on New Year's Day, I think, when I was in the car, and yeah, great audio trial of the Valley Yard, really good, it's about the Valley Yard on trial, if you didn't know, and yeah, great audio in my opinion, I think Colin Baker, really strong performance from him, and yeah, really do enjoy the story. Next up, we do have Jadooning Chains, a Six Doctor audio, yeah, I like this one, probably the second favourite from the Classic Doctor's New Monsters Volume 1 box set. Next up, we do have Doctor Who, her final flight, not listened to this one yet, got it for Christmas, looking forward to listening to it, I've heard good things about this one, and on to the seventh Doctor audios, which I've only got one of, and this is Doctor Who, Harvest of the Sycorax, the leader weakest from the classic Doctor's New Monsters audio collection, however, I do really enjoy it, I think it's a great audio, and on to the eighth Doctor, starting with... Gerzo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Probably my favourite big finish audio. It is amazing, Scurzo. My favourite Eighth Doctor story, think it's absolutely amazing. It wouldn't work as a TV story, as it's basically about the Doctor and the Doctor's companion in this world where there's nothing. It's just them talking to each other. Yeah, it does sound boring on the outside, but when you listen to it, it is so good. It is a really good audio. Next up, we do have the Twilight King, the Twilight Kingdom. In my opinion, the Twilight Kingdom isn't the best. It's all right, but it's probably my least favourite Paul McGann story, which I've listened to. I think it is a bit weak, but it's all right. It's not bad. Next up, we do have Sharda, the first big finish audio I listened to. It's awesome. I really do enjoy Doctor Who Sharda. Really good. Next up, we do have Hoff House, which I listened to yesterday, and it is great. It has the crinoids in, it has themes about global warming, relatable to today, and yeah, really good. Really do like Hoff House. It is a great audio, and I would recommend it. If you liked The Seeds of Doom, is it The Seeds of Doom or The Seeds of Death? I would recommend Hoff House. Next up, we do have Doctor Who, The Sontaran Ordeal. Yeah, I like this one. Not the best audio out of the classic Doctor's New Monsters range. I would say it's probably my third favourite out of that box set. But yeah, it's quite good. 
And on to the Doom Coalition Doctor Who 8th Doctor Audios. I've got a lot of 8th Doctor Audios as the 8th Doctor doesn't have many stories, so I've kind of concentrated on the 8th Doctor Audios. Even though I haven't got that many, considering there's about 100. So yes, firstly, we do have Absent Friends, my favourite from the Doom Coalition 3 box set. Really good in my opinion, really do like it. It's kind of standalone unlike the other three on that box set. Next up, we do have the 8th piece. Very complicated in my opinion, it wasn't that enjoyable. Then we do have the Doomsday Chronometer. And yeah, it is a bit better than the 8th piece, but it still isn't great. It still isn't great. It's alright, but it's not great. Is that the High Spyro off Game of Thrones? Please let me know if you know. Next up, we do have the Crucible of Souls. Yeah, this one's alright. It's probably my second favourite out of the Doom Coalition, but it's nowhere near as good as Absent Friends. The middle two are kind of a two-parter, and then the other two are kind of standalone. But I would say Absent Friends is the better of the standalone ones. And then onto the 10th Doctor Audios, we do have Technophobia. Great, really enjoyed this one. Absolutely awesome. And then we do have Time Reaver, which I also listened to yesterday. And yeah, in my opinion, Time Reaver is not great. It's not great. There are a lot of flaws to it. There are some enjoyable elements. It's a good concept. However, it doesn't really work well as an audio, I think. I think this would have worked much better as a TV thing, as there's a lot of visuals, a lot of action, and action doesn't really work well in audio form. On to Torchwood audios and spin-offs. We do have Doc Torchwood The Conspiracy with John Barrowman in. Absolutely love this one. It is great, great performance from John Barrowman. Then we do have Torchwood The Death of Captain Jack. Haven't listened to this one yet. We'll get around to listening to it. And on to Jago and Lightfoot, or Jago and Lipfoot, we do have Series 7. Yeah, I have a lot of random audios, you know, Doom Coalition, I've got Doom Coalition 3, Jago, Jago and Lightfoot. I've got Jago and Lightfoot Series 7, I haven't got Series 1. Where you'd think you would start. So yes, we do have the Monstrous Menorage, this one's great in my opinion. The Night of a Thousand Stars, also great. Haven't listened to it in a while. So yeah, I've kind of forgotten what it was about. But I remember that it was good. Then we do have Murder at Morsey Manor. I think this one was quite good. And then we do have The Wax Princess, which I haven't listened to yet. I had this box set for about two years, but still haven't watched. Well, listened to The Wax Princess. And then on to the Gallifrey audio series and we do have chapter 19 in my opinion this one was great in my opinion but it's really great and then we do have chapter 20 which was also great and finally we do have chapter 21 from Gallifrey 5 yeah I've got Gallifrey 5 I haven't got 1 to 4 or number 6 yeah I'm a bit weird when collecting audios and yeah I've listened to the first 10 minutes of this, but I just haven't got around to listening to the rest, so I will need to do that. And yes, now onto a few miscellaneous audios. We do have Doctor Who Pest Control. Listen to the first part of this, haven't listened to the second part. I'm not really bothered about the audio books. Great free in the Daily Telegraph years ago, and then I put in a CD case. There's not even a back to it. Then we do have Doctor Who The Runaway Train with Matt Smith in. Haven't listened to this one yet. I have had this since 2010. Yes, 2010, and I still haven't listened to it. It was probably one of the first items of Doctor Who merchandise I've got, but I still haven't listened to it. Then we do have Doctor Who The Gods of Winter, which is a 12th Doctor audio book. Yes, it's okay. I've listened to it, and yeah, I don't really like the narration on it. When I first found out that people really liked Doctor Who audios, I was a bit confused when I listened to this, as I didn't understand that Big Finish was audio dramas. I thought this was Big Finish, even though it says BBC on. So yeah, I was a bit dumb when I got this. And then finally, we do have two Doctor Who kind of audio dramas. We do have Exploration Earth, which stars Tom Baker. It is a prequel to Genesis of the Daleks, I think. And then we do have Slipback. Uh, Doctor Who audio radio play starring Colin Baker as the Doctor. Haven't listened to this one yet or Exploration Earth. So yes, that is it. My Doctor Who audio collection for 2019. Goodbye.
First this week, the tale of two women caught up in an international game of cat and mouse. Originally made for and first shown on the BBC's American TV channel, Thriller Killing Eve stars Grey's Anatomy Sandra O oh as an MI5 security officer hot on the heels of a luxury goods-loving, talented assassin called Villanelle, played by Jodie Comer. Keep the job tidy, huh? Your fancy hairpin is all over the press. Don't worry, I got another one. It's not funny. That was a bit. To start with, the series opening episode last Saturday left some perplexed. I was a bit confused about what genre this show was. One minute the show was a comedy, the next a brutal drama. I eventually got into it after the first half of episode one when the plot started to kick in. Samuel isn't the only one that's now hooked.